wanted to show you this one, the sleeve, because there might be some areas where you have some clumping, right? A lot of folds together, some dense clumping or something. So where the movements and folds are just clumped closer together. So really, it's, it's very rhythmic. And I want you guys to, this is something you're going to have to express in the drawings. How far apart are the folds? How close and dense are they? And it's, it's musical, it's rhythmic. And this will help you get that sense of movement in the, in the drawings. Okay, so I'll pass these around. You can look at them more closely. Another good person to look at is Degas. There are several, but I'm just going to show you this one. Again, in terms of composition, this is not exactly what I want you guys to do. I would want you to really crop it and just focus on this. Does everybody get that? Okay. But it's a good study to look at, again, uh, the three different kind of edges and a full range value. And this is really just a study, too. It's not even a you know, finished drawing for him. It was a study for a painting that he was doing. Um, so here you have some soft edges and then immediately some chiaroscuro or no edges. Here again is a soft edge. You've got some harder edges here. These darker lines, harder edges, softer edges. All this chiaroscuro inside there. And look at the range of values. It goes from white all the way to black sometimes. Okay, he's got that full range of value in there. Alright, so pass this around. Okay, so any questions? Oh, everybody's got it kind of. I think we're a well loved piece of machinery at this point. Alright, so let's get going. At some point, I'll get the gallery opened, and at break time, we'll all head over there and look at the look at the work in the gallery. All right, so set yourselves up for a 